What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this beautiful, unseasonably warm Wednesday. I'm doing pretty good myself. I come across this situation right here. It's actually a TikTok video of this young man right here and his mother. Turns out, basically, what it boils down to is that his mother is living with him and his wife, and his wife, you know, and him is expecting a child. And what it is, he wants his mother out so she don't want to leave so he's actually putting her out you know and so his mother is now disparaging him because you know um he wants her out you understand and i watched the video okay and um it's plain to see that you know his mother does not have any regard for this young man's feelings or his family whatsoever you understand what I'm saying? Um, from what I can understand, she's very selfish, you know, uh, and she very entitled, you know what I mean, to her son, and you know, in his life. She has no regard for his own personal uh, feelings, you know, or his what he's doing with him and his wife. And his wife is expecting a child, you see. And uh, see, this is what I say about a lot of these middle aged gamers. And gamers are women that play games with men for a very, very long time from man to man. You know, the type of woman that never really thought about it establishing herself. But all she looked at was uh, using a man and then she gets, you know, somewhere around the middle age of her life. And she looks around, she ain't got nothing. And now she's falling on her children. You know what I'm saying? That's not cool. That is really not cool. So, but what I want to do is actually uh, show you guys, you know, the situation from the mother's perspective and then the son's perspective and then another, you know, uh, TikToker who's weighing in on it, telling how she feels about it. So let's check this out. Oh, so you gonna sit up here in front like you doing me a favor, right? Since I put you on camera, you ain't got nothing to say, huh? So, really? Oh, you gonna act like you just moving my stuff and you just looking out for your mama, but in actuality, my own son kicking me the fuck out of his damn house. Why? Because he got a new family on the way and that individual has two kids and he needs the space. So now he wanna kick his own mama out of the house after everything I just been through. The son that I gave birth to, gave life, wouldn't be here if it wasn't for me. And that I raised and want to kick me out of his own damn house. He can't do this shit. That's all right. I'll be calling the police so he can know that what he doing is wrong. You can't, you can't illegally just put nobody out your house. And the fact that I'm his mama makes it 10 times even fucking worse. Who does this to their own damn mama? That's all right. I'm going to just let God handle it. It's all good. So I just want to tell y'all this, man. I am so hurt right now. This is me in this video. To get on TikTok to see your mama try to embarrass you for the third time. The first time I didn't say nothing. The second time I didn't say nothing. But enough is enough. Like my mama really mad at me for moving her stuff out my house. I been told my mama I wanted her to move out. She been living with me since 2016. I'm about to have a whole baby on the way. My little sister just had a baby. She's going through postpartum depression. She's not working right now. I ain't trying to put her business out here, but she's going through a lot right now. So I just felt like because my mama don't have a house, you should just move in with your daughter and help her out. She lived right down the street from me. But instead, she don't understand how I feel. Me trying to be a real man and want to take care of my family and my baby in one household. She gets mad and says, are you putting your, your family before your own mama? Like, what? I'm about to have a baby. Like, ma, did you get on TikTok to try to embarrass me? Like, I lost all respect for my mama, man. I can't believe that she do this to me. I'm the reason why she even got a TikTok. I blew you up, ma. This how you going to do I'm about to have a baby. Like, ma. Hey y'all, Saboom. I really do think that it's time for us to have a real-ass conversation, so let's go. 
So whether y'all want to watch this video or not, I'm going to give y'all a brief summary. So this is the third video that his grown-ass mama has made about him kicking her out to make room for his newborn child. Third video, right? Mind you, his mom has been staying with him since 2016. Mind you, his sister just had a baby. She's going through postpartum depression. Okay? Y'all are still following? Great. I think it's time for us to have a real life conversation when it comes to these black moms and their infatuations with their sons and treating their sons like they're men and get upset when their sons actually become the men that they need to be for their family and not for them. And this be the same type of mothers that be screaming off the top of their motherfucking lungs every chance that they get. My son is my world. My son is my only true love. My first true love. I don't need nobody else but my son. Blah, 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 blah. I see y'all. I see y'all. And this is how y'all gonna be in the future too. How are you as a grown ass, elder ass woman upset that your son is being responsible enough to tell you that you gotta get out to make room for his new child? Your grandchild, right? And then you will be the same one that will open your motherfucking mouth to sit here and say that your daughter-in-law hates you. Your daughter-in-law is keeping your son away from you. Your daughter-in-law is not letting you allow, not allowing you to see your grandchild. Well, all along, it's your obsessiveness to your son that is unhealthy. That is stopping you from having a real relationship with your son and his new family. Yeah. I remember a couple of years back, there was a video going viral of a son going to his mom and asking his mom to respect the fact that he is in a healthy relationship and his wife or girlfriend or whoever is going back and forth with his mom and the mom slipped up and said this is my fucking man i mean i mean i mean this is my son no ma'am yeah we need to talk about the psychological effects of these single mothers who raise their sons as their men, as their spouse, making them the men of the house, letting them get away with anything and everything because they feel like, oh, this is the only man that's going to truly love me. And you don't allow your son to be a son because you're putting all of these responsibilities over him and on him to love you the way that you expected your future spouse to do so. And you tend to not date, you tend to not find someone else to be the man of your life because you fetishize your son being that for you. And when your son end up finding a family of his own, you get your motherfucking pennies in a bunch and be on TikTok begging for people to find remorse in you. You look sick. And I hope your son don't ever motherfucking talk to you again. Get it fucking together. Thank you. Okay. Let's dissect this situation right here. You understand? Now it's plain to see that the mother is very manipulative and has, like I said in the first place, no respect for her son and his family. You understand? Uh, it is all about her. And so she thinks, but here's a dose, a hard dose of reality for you, uh, ma'am. Uh, the thing is, is this. Your son has a life of his own. You understand? Your son you know is trying to do the best that he can you know for himself and his family and you know his wife does come before you whether you want to understand that or not now i can understand that maybe by some chance you fell on some kind of hard times for whatever reason could have been finances or health you know what i mean or what have you you may have lost your place of residence however way you did but at the same time you know uh 2016 all the way up to uh, February, what, 2023 this year? That's seven years, you know? And, well, the number seven is what is called spiritual completeness. So in other words, you would think in those seven years, you would have found yourself more spiritually complete and in a better place than to be, you know, uh, infringing on the rights of your son. You understand? Um it's, it's really a messed up situation and I can understand the pressure that this young man is under, you know, when it comes to this, you know, but, uh, and then especially with the mother being manipulative, talking about all the things she done for him and, uh, having him bringing him, bringing him into the world and all that. Look, whatever you did for him, you was entitled to do it. That's what you were supposed to do because you brought him into the world. He don't owe you nothing. He don't owe you nothing but love and respect. And if you're not worthy of that because of your actions, then you lose out on that too. That's basically what it all boils down to. 
You understand? That man has a family, you know, to deal with. And a wife, what I'm saying. He has a wife. And as the old saying goes, every queen needs her own castle. You understand? Where is yours? You see? Now, like I said, it's, it's plain to see. You know, I can look at this particular book right here and judge, you know, basically. Tell the book by the cover. Looking at this woman right here. Like I said in the beginning of this video, she is a gamer. And she's running game even on her own son. You understand what I'm saying? All she's doing is freeloading on him. And uh, she ain't thinking about going nowhere else. And I don't understand what it is with a lot of parents, mainly mothers, that like to do it once. Uh, basically, in-laws in general. A person of their relativity, you understand, um, go out and get somebody that they happen to fall in love with the first thing those people want to do is prove to the the newcomer is that well he or she you know uh, i come before them in their eyes before you do you understand they go right on trying to establish dominance and make the newcomer feel like that you know and which you as a newcomer you understand especially if you're going into holy matrimony you come second to nobody because the most high said with you when you give your vows it says do you promise to forsake all others for your spouse not forsake all others well not forsake your spouse for all others in other words and see this is what a lot of wicked ass israelite niggas among us as a people fail to agree with because they understand what it is don't think that they don't you understand what I mean? They know what it is, but they're so damn selfish and wicked. You understand what I'm saying? And they don't give a damn about the little wickedness that they do. You know what I'm saying? Now, if this mother can tear up the relationship between this man and his wife, she will be so fucking hard. She would be so, so glad about it. I'm telling you, you would think that she hit the lottery. You understand? See, I know women like this. You know, I mean, just selfish to the damn core and so damn wicked and low life. You understand what I mean? To the point, and this is a true story, where a particular woman that I know, I'm going to say this about her. She's the type that she wouldn't give a damn if she ran a steamroller over you. You understand? To get what she wanted. But all she cares about is getting what she want thereafter and you can drop dead. And guess what? She used the man to death. I mean, you're, I'm telling you, if you ever heard the song by Bill Weathers, you keep on using me until you use me up. I actually seen this particular situation go down for myself. This woman used this man to death. Okay. Now, when she cheated on the man that she, you know, that she got her children by, with this 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 other man they went on for years and all that man did was give her and give her and give her and she just take 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 well the man he got down on his health you understand couldn't get around like he used to right and he would call her and all she would be doing is sitting up on her ass not doing a damn thing you understand he would call her and say he ain't got no food. He hungry. Hey, get on my nerve. That man gets on my nerve. I don't feel like being bothered. I'm tired. And what the hell was she so tired about? Sitting around, envying her own children, in competition. You know, just a trashy ass low life woman. You understand? But when that man, when he gets, when whenever his pension check or social security check, you know what I mean, kicks in, when it comes in, however, what by monthly or whatever. There she go. She's over there taking his check. And he was, he, he, hey, he loved her enough. He was stupid enough to love her that much to let her do that to him. Okay. So one day the man called me. He called me. You understand? And said, first of all, Joan told me she believed that he wasn't eating properly. Right. Two weeks prior before he even called me. And I'm like, how could you tell? Well, you know, she has experience with, you know, working around the elderly and what have you. And so what happened was that he actually called me and said that he had no food in his house. Okay. 
literally had no food in his house whatsoever. So being the man that I am, you know, me and John went to the, you know, the grocery store and actually bought food for him, you know, and when we went there, guess what? He was not lying. That man cabinets ain't had nothing but fucking dust and cobwebs in it. You see what I'm talking about? The refrigerator had nothing but a half a pint of almost melted ice cream sitting right in the middle of it. Okay? That's all he had. You see? And this low life ass woman wasn't even good enough to, if she was taking his money to uh, at least go to the grocery store, buy him some food, and put a pot on the damn stove for him to eat. She wouldn't even do that. Long story short, look, the man wind up starving to death, dying. And don't you know all that heifer was care? All she damn it cared about is if he left her some, and she made if he made her uh, 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 um, beneficiary. You understand on his insurance policy. He did, you understand it? And she squandered that. So like I'm saying, some of these women just ain't worth shit. Now, I'm talking about these low life ass wicked mothers. This is what I'm talking about. And it is a lot of them. The majority rules. It's very rare that you're gonna find a mother that's in her, in her role and knowing what a mother does. Cause see, when a mother like that, she ain't jealous of her own child. And more than likely, she's going to be trying to force herself on her child by, as a means of even helping her child when they don't even need no help. You understand? Be one of them things. No, I'm cool. I'm fine. Let me do this for you. You know, that kind of thing. See, respectable, real mothers, loving mothers. I'm not talking about them, but I'm talking about these low life ass mothers that don't amount to, as they say, a hill of beans. Ain't shit. All they ever did in their life was looked out to who they can use. You understand? Then get up in years down the road in their life and see they ain't got a damn thing. But as they say, pot to piss in and a window to throw out of. Throw it out of. You know what I mean? That kind of shit. So, to bring this to a close, this young man, as far as I'm concerned, hey, he's right. He's right. And that's just what it is in my book. May not be in some of y'all book, but to me, hey, <laughs> he's giving his mother seven years. She ain't did nothing all this time. She ain't gonna do nothing. And I can tell from the picture right here, like I said, the cover of this book, and just from hearing her voice and how she was trying to manipulate him with the sense of entitlement and like he owe her so much just cause, you know, uh, she's his mother. I can tell right there what it is with this woman right here. You understand? That's all I got on this one, people. I want you to tell me what you think about this particular situation. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions in the comment section. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And people, please remember to live your life as though we're being watched. Simply because we are, this is James, and I'm out. Peace.